This is old greeny right there. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the disc that Eulaberry liked a lot. Maybe I'm wrong, but Eulabari, whatever. Uh, I'm kind of excited to throw this. I like the numbers on it. So as you can tell, I've got a disc here to review. It's another disc craft. It's another throw more special. So uh, like, I, like all the other ones, discount code somewhere around here. Websites down in the bio. I'll also put the website right here so you know where to go. Tell them thanks. Get you a little discount. Buy you some disc craft. It'll help me out. Help them out. It'll help you out. Especially if you like the disc. So We're going to go ahead and give this a throw. But I'll show you the rim real quick. That kind of neutral um, to understable fairway feel. Pretty comfortable in hand. It's an 8.4, negative 2.2. So it doesn't say it has a ton of glide. We'll see how that is. Um, I would I would expect to, to read the number on that to at least have a 5 with how understable it is. So that's interesting. So I don't know what that numbering is about, but we'll see. Maybe it just doesn't have a lot of glide. Maybe it's just understable. Never thrown one. Let's throw it. So first throw with this mantis here. I'm going to hit it on hyzer. I'm going to go out towards this open area because I don't want to throw this in the river, at least on the first throw. So I'm going to just play it on hyzer, kind of low power, give it a little decent snap. That actually has way more stability than I was expecting on it. Uh, yeah, definitely not what I was expecting out of that. So now that we've got an idea of the stability of this Mantis, I am now going to try to hit it pretty hard, maybe even a little flat, and try to hit the right side of this tree and just drift down that gap. This is not an actual hole. It is playing kind of almost like a safari. in the river probably 100% ah! since this mantis keeps wanting to just hyzer I'm gonna put this out on a big spike hyzer and just see how it pushes That was nice, okay? Ignoring what the numbers say and throwing it for a shot like that, it actually had good push and held the hyzer but wasn't crazy aggressive. That disc, I think, deserves more of an 8402 or something like that. Maybe it could be an 84 negative 0.5. Uh, two or something like that or a one and a half Fade, but it is not I don't think a negative two turn unless you just got a massive arm or Or I've just got a stable run But that was nice. I'm gonna try to give this uh, Mantis a really good rip Not much in the way here just want to try to see if I can get it to go somewhere Pegged the uh, telephone pole out there with it. That was going pretty far. 
this basket the white basket that's back there is right around 400 feet maybe just like a foot or two over and that's probably about 80 feet away from the basket or so that was going to go an easy 350 i think at least somewhere in that range we've done everything else with this mantis really i'm going to try to do maybe two more throws with it i'm going to flick one low power real quick so let's do that This hole's like 180, 190 feet, and I probably just went like 70 or 80 feet past the basket, barely flicking that. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for a low power, just like easy straight forehand, that could be a disc for you. I like that. I like that shot. Well, what I've got to say about this Mantis is, I like the way it flies. You need to ignore the negative two on the flight numbers. Outside of that, I like the flight of the disc. You just don't expect it to be as understable as the numbers say. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good disc. Uh, I think it could be a good stable uh, disc for like a beginner, somebody with a low arm speed. Um, if you got a high arm speed, it probably is a good workable disc that would fly closer to like a negative one, maybe a negative two if you've got that big distance uh but for me it has a decent glide so i mean i don't know that it's quite a four it might be a five um it's not the most glidey disc but i don't know maybe a four's reasonable but i had a couple of throws where this was going pretty far uh so i don't know it's a different one because i the numbers threw me off and that's why you never trust flight numbers but uh, what I'm going to do, give you one last throw, and then you might be able to get this throw more. Who knows? We might figure out something to do with it. So if it is that throw more, it'll be uh, used. We're going to go Big Annie. Oh, let me try to... Throw it in the road. 